welcome back to my channel. I tried to look fabulous for you. Actually made an effort with um, the hot rollers. I just used them for the first time and they came out amazing. I really like the effect. So <clears throat> this hairstyle is a favorite. <laughs> um, so this is my mid-month favorites. I keep forgetting to do my end of the month favorites. So now I'm cool and I just moved it to the mid-month. So my first favorite, and I'm so excited for this, is my new car. I got a new car. Um, I love it. Um, <laughs> it won't be for everybody. I got the N Nissan Leaf, which is an all-electric car. Obviously, I've never had an electric car before. I've always had crap vehicles, so I'm really excited. Um, you have to charge it. You don't put gas in it. It just has, you turn it on, it, it doesn't even sound like the car's on. You literally just press a button, it does nothing except the car comes alive, but it's really, it's, it's a strange vehicle, but I really, really like it. I got it in white with black interior because when you have kids you gotta have black interior and I freaking love it. I'm so excited about that. So that's my first favorite. Um, then I have two perfume favorites. Of course I have my perfumes because I love perfume. Then I have the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oh, I love this bottle. This bottle is everything. I just love it. And um, it smells really good. I do have to carry it around with me because the scent is not the longest lasting. But I just, I love it. I love this smell. It's so spring. And here in California, it's actually been getting pretty hot. We're gonna supposed to be up to 90. Sorry, Midwest. Sorry, back east. Um, it's supposed to be up to 90 um, coming up this weekend, so it'll be pretty freaking hot. Um, so then my next favorite has been my Prada Candy. I use the hell out of this. I really like this. This is the little bottle. Um, I get so many compliments when I wear this, and this lasts forever on me. This is really good stuff. I love this. Okay, so then I have my nail favorites, which are, I have both on my nails today. I have Fashion Playground on my nails, which look like crap. I'm sorry, um, that's not the nail polish's fault. It's I tried to paint my nails when my son was asleep. And of course he woke up, Murphy's Law. So um, this is the color on my nails. It's really, really pretty. This is from their new collection, and so is this one. This one's called Romper Room. And this is on my toes, and it's super pretty. It's actually very opaque. I'll show you. It's not sheer at all. So as you can see when you pull it up, it's it's opaque. I always do that. Am I the only person that does that when I see nail polishes? Because sometimes it'll look really pretty like this and you lift it up and it's freaking sheer. Um, you could tell on the thing. Anyway, so those are from the new Essie collection, the spring spring one, I don't know. Um, so then I have my Fix Plus spray, which I freaking love. I keep this in my purse and it just I love the smell of it. I spray it mostly for the smell. Is that weird? It's weird. Um, and it keeps my face looking really refreshed. I don't wear foundation anymore, so I've just been really um, kind of keep my face moist and looking dewy. So on my face, since I haven't been wearing foundation, I've been wearing three products. The first one is, I already did a tutorial on this one and a review, which is my It Cosmetics Your, Your Skin But Better CC Cream in the color light. As you can see, I've used the hell out of this. It used to be a tube and now it's flat. Um, I have it on, I love it, I freaking love it. Um, I will definitely repurchase this in a heartbeat as soon as I'm out, which hopefully won't be for a while. And then this was a surprise. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye that looks like hell. Um, that would be because this was given to me by my mom after she already had her go with it. Um, and this is in the color light, and what it is basically, it's under eye corrector concealer. And it's super thick. I'm squeezing it and it's barely like coming out. So it's a very, very thick consistency. Put that on it. It's a very thick consistency and you don't need very much at all because this blends out pretty good. Especially underneath your eyes, you know, it's really, um, you want to be delicate. But that's the only thing I don't like about it is that it's so thick and kind of hard to to really get in there. But the effect is really, really nice. So, I mean, it was given to me. I probably wouldn't have bought it. But it's nice. I like it. It's been a favorite. And then, oh, I love this. This is my um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. This is like my fourth or fifth one of these over the years. I love this. This is just such, such a great powder. I always go back to it. I've already flattened out the dome and now it's starting to get flat again. So I probably only got another like month use out of this. Totally sucks. But this is great. I love this. So let's have it on. I have all three of these products on. I love it. So then for my eyes, I've been, I've never talked about this on my channel. I don't know why. I really like it. I use it a lot. This is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. And this is about, I think, $36. I don't know what the price was on that Bye Bye Under Eye, by the way. Um... 
I can't think of it. Anyway, so um, this is what that palette looks like. I think you've all seen this before. This is really pretty. I've been using the the top, um, the white shade here a lot, and then this brown um, matte shade here in the crease. And then I've been doing this color, which is called Push Up the Middle Brown Color. It has a little bit of shimmer, just so I don't have an all matte eye. Um, I like to have a little bit of life to my eyes. Um, so this is a really pretty, pretty, pretty palette. And for 36 but I think it's 30, 36 34 you get quite a bit of product. Especially, I love that they thought about making the highlight shades huge because you use a lot more of this than you would of the other colors. So that is that. I love this. And then I have a brow favorite. This is the Tarte Emphasize for Brows. Um, I don't know what color this is. I think it's just the taupe color. It comes in two colors. They come with this color, which is the lightest for blondes, and then the next color, which is for brunettes. There's only two shades. And it comes with the spoolie on the one side, which is filthy, and then it comes with the retractable, um, not retractable, you can only push it up, you can't pull it back down, but it comes in this tiny little, you see how tiny that is? It's tiny. It's tiny. And so, um, I love this. I have this on my brows. I think it's great. I really like it. I still really like my aqua brow. Um, but this has just been hella convenient. I love this. Um, and it was $19, so it wasn't a bad buy, I don't think. It's lasting a while. So then, oh my god. So, okay. Do you guys see these lashes? Do you see them? Can you see them? Because this is amazing. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I always kind of like brush this aside like, oh, like, yeah, whatever. You know, it, it can't be that great. It's not, you know, mascara is mascara. I mean, I like my Dior one, whatever. So this one's way better. I like this, I think, the most out of any mascara I've ever tried. And this is about, I want to say $23. Um, so it's less than the Dior one that I bought before. And it's amazing. I really like this. So it has, first of all, the tube is a nice heavy tube. It's a weighty tube. Um, it's a pretty pink color. And then the brush is kind of a little weird looking. It kind of has a little hourglass shape to it. The formula is wet um, from the get-go. So as it dries out, I don't know if I'll still like it as much, but as of now from the wet formula, I do really like it. I can apply three coats of this and actually on the box I should have brought it over the box tells you to apply basically like three coats of it to get like false looking lashes so I did only two coats today but normally I do three and it's so good I love this this is so good so I got a, a box from Too Faced and I also have this product from it this is the Chocolate Soleil bron matte bronzer um, it, it's in Sephora. It's called the Blogger Favorites or something like that for like 20 bucks. So I got this big bronzer. I mean, this is big to me because I'm never going to go through this. So I never need to buy the real one. Um, it comes with this bronzer, which I have on my face in little contour areas. It actually smells like legit chocolate. I really like that. I think that's cool. Anyway, so it came with that, and then it came with the little mini of this one, which I've used up, and I the next day I used it, I had to go buy the full size because I loved it. So I used up the mini version, and then it came with the um, a thing, a small thing of the eye primer, and then a small thing of their face primer. So for 20 bucks, you're getting quite a good deal. Anyways, but I'm like obsessed with this bronzer. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but it's perfect. I love it. It's perfect. So then another two Cheeks products that I have, um, these are both relatively new as well. This is the Rocketeur by Benefit. I'm late to this party, I know. Excuse me. Um, this is what that looks like. I don't like the packaging on this. I hate, I remember when um, Benefit used to have the separate packaging where you would just lift the lid up and then it would just be a box and I prefer that. I don't like this lid crap. Anyway, so that is what this looks like. And I think we've all seen this. It's a really nice, um, um, rose gold color. Um, I didn't like it at first. I passed by it several times in Sephora and Ulta and I just passed by it. I'm like, no, no, no. Looks like highlighter. Doesn't show up. No, no, no. Um, it's freaking awesome. I don't have it on today, of course, but it's freaking awesome. This is a beautiful color. It came with a really shimmery overspray and then after it was gone like one use, which was fine because it's still a really pretty sheen to it. It's a beautiful color. 
And then on the same um, color scheme, I got the convertible color by Stila in Peony. I've never had one of these before. I've never really, I've never really had cream blush before to be honest with you. I don't really, I never really thought I would like it. Obsessed. This is so pretty. You can wear this on your cheeks and on your lips as well. Um, on my lips, this doesn't really last as long. It doesn't really look that great because I, um, my lips are kind of already this color. At least it, it doesn't really seem to make a big difference when I put this on. But on my cheeks? Oh, man. This is, this is really pretty. That's a, a swatch not blended out, so blend that. It just looks, makes your face look alive. It's really a natural color. And these two actually go really well together. If you were the type of person that wanted to top off your cream with your powder, these go really well. These match quite a bit. Um, so pretty. It just, I love this. I didn't think I would like it. I used a stipple brush to apply it. Um, and it's, it's great. I love it. So then I have a few lip favorites. So what I have on my lips right now right now is a uh, Too Faced Taffy. This is the cream lipsticks that they make. I don't know what they're called. They don't say. Um, yeah. Anyways, but this is just Taffy. It's so pretty. I like these. I really like these lipsticks. I was impressed. I got two. I got this one and then a purple color. These are both from the relatively new um, spring collection, but I'm pretty sure they're all permanent now. Um, so this is really pretty. It's Taffy. And then I have an old Met Glip Gloss. You cannot buy this anymore, unfortunately. This is Ice... Ice... Gape? I always want to call it Ice Capade, but it's called Ice Gape. And this was from the... Lace... Love Lace collection, like, many moons ago. And it's just this really pretty, um, pale pink color. I just... Put that in the middle. Get a little sheen. Really pretty. And then my next two favorites... I have another combination that I've been wearing a lot. This one is, these are both from the Fantasy of Flowers collection. This one is Snapdragon. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Especially now that I have purple hair. This looks amazing on me. Not to toot my own horn. Doot, doot. And then this is Playful Petal. This is their cream sheen glass. This is so pretty too. I love, these are gorgeous. Gorgeousness. And then last but not least, I have my last lipstick favorite, and this is another limited edition item you cannot get anymore, I'm sorry. This is Lavender Whip, this is a cream sheen, oh. again, this, this is perfect for my hair. At first I thought it was tacky to put purple lipstick with purple hair, um, no, it looks awesome. Um, I love this, this is so pretty, I kind of, I'm hating myself now because I wish I had gotten more backups of this, because I knew I liked this when I first got it, like, two years ago, last year. When this came out, it was a, this is the re-promoted one. This isn't the original one, but this is gorgeous, so pretty. Anyway, so that brings it a wrap to all my favorites, my mid-month favorites. Um, so I will talk to you guys in my next video. I will see you later. Bye.